black velvet band. Her eyes had shone like the diamonds, yet think she was queen of the land. And her hair hung over her shoulder, tied up with a black velvet band. All right, boys. Smiling. <laughs> oh gee, that's too close for comfort. I know. People who want to train. Uh, Hi there, how are you? <laughs> Hoffman from Bridgewater and past president of the Massachusetts Archaeological Society will um, be our tour guide. We'll go down the Namaskan to the Taunton, go upstream from the Taunton to uh, Summer Street. And How far would that be? It's uh, 5.8 miles. Oh. And then how long will it take? Well, we're estimating four to five hours. We'll be stopping for lunch on the banks of the river um, at, at one point. And of course, we'll stop for lectures. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Yeah. What day is that? Saturday, October 7th. Okay, very Reservations good. must be made in advance. Okay. Can you tell me a little bit about what you're doing here? I'm making a Navajo weaving. Yes, and how long have you been doing this kind of work? Well, since about 1970. When I lived in the Southwest, I learned to do uh, Navajo tapestry weaving. Yeah. And um, now I raise sheep and my wife spins the wool and I do the weaving. Oh yeah, where are you from? I'm from Lakeville. Here. Oh, you are from yeah. Lakeville. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, very good, very interesting. How long would it take you to make up this, this size? Uh, it would take quite a while. Yeah, it's very slow going. It's not automated or mechanized. Yeah. It's all done by hand. So. so would it take a couple of months? Uh, no, if I sat down and wove it uh, consistently, I could probably do this in a week's time. Hello. Hello. Can you tell me what, uh, what uh, this is? This is your stuff that you do at home? This is stuff, this is pottery that I do at home. Yeah, what is your name? My name is Andrea Shartoff. And where do you come from? I live in Middleborough. Oh, you do? And you yes. have a big kiln to do I all this? I have a big kiln to do all of this. Is it gas or electric? Electric. Electric. Okay, how long have you been doing this type of stuff? Um, I learned a little bit in high school, and then I've been doing it pretty much 
for five years now. I did a lot of things between then and now. Yeah. So, and it's a hobby or a business? It's a hobby. Hobby? Yeah. Very fine work. Thank Be you beautiful. Very much. Would you like to tell me something about these pieces, certain pieces? Well, what do you want to know? Like this one here with the different colors. This one? Yeah. These are made with two different clays that are thrown together. Mm -hmm. And they're very tricky because they have different consistencies. And they, um, when you're all done throwing, you then have to carve off the outside edge of the clay in order to see what's underneath it. Yeah. Then I just put a clear on top of it. A clear glaze yeah. on it, and then, and then you fire it again. Fire it again, yeah. yeah. Okay. Where are you, where do you get the designs from? You're mostly your own idea? I make up my own ideas. Yeah. yeah. Very nice. Thank you very much. Oh, yeah, I mean, uh, I could see that, yeah. <laughs> what do you got for sale here? What, Hot dogs, food? hamburgers, Luisa. Anything you want, huh? Any, Well, not anything you want. <laughs> Clam chowder and um, homemade chili. Oh, sounds good. Yeah. We don't have scotch too, I just want to ask a musical question. Donald, where's your trousers? I was the the Arts Council. You want to know about the Arts Council? Uh, yes. What would you like? Oh, well, I want to know why you want to know. Because <laughs> I want to know what it what it does. The Arts Council, well, one thing, we're able to do this festival for you. Yeah. The other thing is we, um, we're awarded grant money from the state by the Mass Culture. The, the, um, the Arts Council in Lakeville was awarded $4,000 and people get to fill out applications, grant applications, come up with ideas on how to serve, how to bring arts and culture to the community, music, whatever it may be. Last year, one of the women wanted to um, bring poetry, so she wrote a grant for $300. She paid three poets to come, and we did poetry one evening. We had a whole series in the library, spring to summer. And we had um, a gentleman who taught pastels. He brought all his pastels. We had the poetry reading. We had a, a couple come in, pottery demonstration. We had a couple come in with, um, dressed up in 17th century garb and all kinds of artifacts and told you what it was like to live in the 17th century. All kinds of different things and we're trying to do them in the, um, we're trying to do them in the, um, in the library to show off that beautiful new meeting room we have. And what's your name? Joanne Apple. Oh, okay. And I'm Thank on the arts council. Thank you very much. Paralyzation, Eric the Diamond. It takes she was queen of the